This video briefly covers creating 3D extrusions in Photoshop Extended CS5 using Adobe Repose. Repose gives us the ability to create simple 3D extrusions from text layers, paths, masks, or selections. You can then take this 3D geometry and add a material to it from our new materials library, as well as manipulate the lights, cameras, textures, and shadows all within Photoshop Extended. This introduces an enormous amount of flexibility and efficiency to your de design workflow. Here's a design that was created for a web banner that contains animated text, icons, and other objects that were created and composited entirely in Photoshop. Let's go ahead and jump back into Photoshop to show you how I can create these extrusions. Here I have the composite and a simple text layer in Photoshop. The simplest way to get into the Repose dialog is from the 3D panel on the right here. You can see I can choose Selected Layer, which is a text layer, and 3D Repose Object and click Create and jump into the Repose dialog. Here we are in the Repose dialog and up here at the, uh, the top left we have basic presets that we can use so you can experiment with the different types of parameters that you can apply in this dialog. The extrusion parameters allow you to create depth. I can scale the back face. I can also add twists I can shear the back face, the X or Y angle, and I can also bend it. I can also define the different reference point from which I want to bend my 3D geometry. Up here in the upper left, you can see I have the 3D axis tool that allows me to manipulate my object as well. I can add a simple inflation. What an inflation is, is just the smooth curved inflation to my 3D face, either the front face or the back face, or both. You can see here I've just added a smooth curved constraint to the front. Over here on the right, I can add a simple bevel, to the, again, to the front or the front and the back. I can change my contour profile, and I can come in here and edit my profile as well. Now you have a 3D layer that you can edit further using your favorite traditional Photoshop effects. I can take this design and enjoy the flexibility that I'll get having this as a 3D layer and create different looks, positioning, and lighting for my composite. I can also animate different 3D effects and render this out to a video, all within Photoshop CS5 Extended.